soft. Not like through yonder window breaks. It is the east. And Juliet is the sun. Arise, fair sun. And kill the envious moon. Who is already sick and pale with grief that thou her maid art far more fair than she. It is my lady. Oh, it is my love. Oh, that she knew she were. She speaks. And she says nothing, what of that? Her eye discourses. I will answer it. I am too bold. It is not to me she speaks. See how she leans her cheek upon her hand. Oh, that I were a glove upon that hand, that I might touch that cheek. I may. She speaks. Oh, speak again, bright angel. Oh, Romeo. Romeo. Wherefore art thou, Romeo? Deny thy father, and refuse thy name. Or if thou wilt not, be but sworn my love, and I'll no longer be a Capulet. Shall I hear more, or shall I speak at this? It is but thy name that is my enemy. Thou art thyself, though, not a Montague. What's Montague? Tis nor hand, nor foot, nor arm, nor face, nor any other part belonging to a man. Oh, be some other name. What's in a name? which we call a rose by any other name would smell as sweet. So Romeo would, were he not Romeo called, retain that dear perfection which he owes without that title. Romeo, doff thy name, and for thy name, which is no part of thee, take all myself. I'll take thee at thy word. Call me but love, and I'll be new baptized. Henceforth I never will be Romeo. What man art thou that thus bescreened in night, so stumblest on my counsel? By a name, I know not how to tell thee who I am. My name, dear saint, is hateful to myself because it is an enemy to thee. Had I had written, I would tear the word. My ears have yet not drunk a hundred words of thy tongue's uttering, yet I know the sound. Art thou not Romeo and a Montague? Neither, fair maid, if either thee dislike. How came so hither? Tell me. And wherefore? The orchard walls are high and hard to climb, and the, the place death, considering who thou art, if any of my kinsmen find thee here. I have night's cloak to hide me from their eyes. And but thou love me, let them find me here. Thou knows the mask of night is on my face. Else would a maiden blush bepaint my cheek for that which thou hast heard me speak tonight. <laughs> fain would I dwell on form. Fain, fain, deny what I have spoke. But a farewell compliment. Dost thou love me? I know thou wilt say I, and I will take thy word, yet if thou swearest, thou mayest prove false. At lovers' perjuries, they say Jove laughs. Oh, gentle Romeo, if thou dost love, pronounce it faithfully, or if thou thinkst I am too quickly one, I'll frown and, and be perverse and say thee nay, so thou wilt woo, but else not for the world. <laughs> In truth, too fond, and therefore thou mayst think my havior light. <laughs> but trust me, gentlemen, I'll prove more true than those that have more cunning to be strange. I should have been more strange, I must confess, but that thou overheardst, ere I was where my true love's passion. Therefore pardon me, and not impute this yielding to light love, which the dark night hath so discovered. Lady, by yonder blessed moon I vow the tips with silver all these fruit tree tops. I swear not by the moon. The inconstant moon that monthly changes in a circled orb, lest that thy love prove likewise variable. What shall I swear by? Do not swear at all. <laughs> or if thou wilt, swear by thy gracious self, which is the god of my idolatry, and I'll believe thee. If my heart's dear love. I do not swear. Although I joy in thee, I have no joy of this contract tonight. It is too rash, too unadvised, too sudden, too like the lightning which to cease to be, ere one can say it lightens. Sweet good night. This bud of love, thy summer's ripening breath, may prove a beauteous flower when next we meet. Good night. Good night.
Has sweet repose and rest come to thy heart? Is that within thy breast? Oh, wilt thou leave me so unsatisfied? What satisfaction canst thou have tonight? The exchange of thy love's faithful vow for mine. I gave thee mine before thou didst request it. And yet I would it were to give again. Wouldst thou withdraw it? For what purpose, love? But to be frank and give it thee again. <laughs> and yet I wish but for the thing I have. My bounty is as boundless as the sea. My love as deep. The more I give to thee, the more I have, for both are infinite. I hear some noise within. Do you love it, you? Juliet? Anon, good nurse. Sweet Montague, be true. Stay but a little. I will come again. Blessed, blessed night. I am afeard. Being a night, all this is but a dream too flattering, sweet to be substantial. Three words, dear Romeo, and good night indeed. If that thy bent of love be honourable, thy purpose, marriage, send me word tomorrow by one that I'll procure to come to thee, where and what time thou wilt perform the rite, and all my fortunes at thy foot I'll lay, and follow thee, my lord, throughout the world. Madam? I come anon, but if thou means not, well, I do beseech thee. Madam? By and by I come to cease thy strife, and leave me to my grief. <laughs> Tomorrow will I send. So thrive my soul. A thousand times, good night. A thousand times the worst upon thy light. What o'clock tomorrow shall I send to thee? By the hour of nine. I will not fail. Tis twenty years till then. I forgot why to call thee back. Let me stand here till I remember it. I shall forget to have thee still stand there, remembering how I love thy company. And I'll still stay to have thee still forget, forgetting any other home but this. Good night. Good night. Parting is such sweet sorrow that I shall say good night till it be morrow. Sleep dwell upon thine eyes. Peace in thy breast. Would I were sleep and peace, so sweet to rest.